So apparently Lyft rideshare fees are going up by 300% in 2020. And I find it rather funny that like Lyft is reaching out, screaming, crying, begging for your help, saying, hey, send them a message and tell them that you oppose these fees, right? Where are you, Lyft, when we need you? Where are you, Lyft, when we desperately need an increase in our rates? Where were you? Where are you? I cannot see you. Anyway, the city of Chicago um, already has the highest ride share fees in the nation, right? And now the city wants to go even further by tripling, listen to this, by tripling ride share fees in 2020's budget. Um, Lyft says we do not think that's fair to riders and drivers. I can tell you many things that are not fair, Lyft. Uh, here they are crying me a river, right? So Chicagoans are already spread too thin when it comes to fees and taxes. This proposal would rate, <clears throat> raise the current rates by as much as 300%, so they say. <clears throat> they don't break it down for you. They just say, hey, it's going to be raised by 300%. I see that more as fear marketing, right? These new fees will have a significant impact on the Chicago Lyft community, including higher fares for passengers. <clears throat> Let me just say, Lyft, that you should have increased your fares for passengers a long, long time ago. Don't just do it now in 2020 when this bad news faces you. You should have increased the fares for passengers increment, in increments, two, three, four increments over the last two years. You didn't do it, right? So this is not really, again, a smart move by a Lyft CEO to suddenly overnight to jack up the fees for passengers saying, hey, um, the, the, the Chicago market city demands 300% increase and here we are <clears throat> we're offloading it on you and we're going to take away from the driver so you know people don't like shock treatment people people don't like erratic change right got to do it in increments and we've been saying this to uber and lyft for a long long time step it up just like people do with the gas prices so people can digest it and then goes up by 10% and up by, uh, sorry, 10 cents and up by another 10 cents, right? What they're going to do here is they're going to force a radical um, increase. Passengers ain't going to like it. Drivers ain't going to like it because both of those sides are going to make have to make up this 300% deficit. What it also means is fewer rides taking taken, limiting drivers' opportunity to earn I'm not sure on what data that or proof that is based on. They throw that out there, right? I see that again as fear marketing to get the Lyft driver to react, right? And at the bottom, they say, send them a message. So if you read this, oh my God, I, I don't want my, I don't want fewer trips. I don't want this to go up. How can I help you Lyft, right? It's like the shock treatment. Um, not well thought through, Lyft. So less transportation access in underserved neighborhoods that need it most. And Lyft says they're committing to providing affordable and reliable rides for everyone and helping drivers maximize their earnings. I'm, I'm sorry, but on that one, I think over and over and over again, Lyft has, fail, has failed its drivers to help drivers maximize their earnings. You shouldn't put that out there, Lyft, because that is a flat-out lie. Help us keep rides affordable by contacting Mayor Lightfoot. That's his name. You know, Mayor Lightfoot is not treading lightly on passengers and riders. And also, um, Alderman, the other guy, send them a message. Anyways, I find this rather interesting that they are now begging for your help. Have a great day.